Oh, that's the garage door. That's not good. Sorry, Andy. Almost broke all the rods there. Well, just putting all the uh, ACC crappie sticks away. Just got back from my trip down south on Lake of Egypt and Wren Lake, what I consider down south. Um, but yeah, I just posted that giant crappie fishing video. That new one's out. And I actually just watched Three Pound Matt's video. Um, thank you again, Matt, for inviting me down there. Please, I'm going to link his video that he just posted. It's going to be the top link in the video description. Go watch the video. Go subscribe to him. Um, he was kind enough to invite me down there and let me stay at his lake house for the weekend so I didn't have to get a hotel. So thank you, Matt. Thank you again so much. But uh, yeah, all my gear is just a mess right now. But this video that you're about to watch is a live bait versus artificial video. This is probably going to be the last, well, it's the last ice fishing video. Not ever. I'm definitely doing more. But the videos after this are probably going to be, I think I got four videos, open water, southern Illinois, Lake of Egypt, and Wren Lake, uh, fishing with Matt, three pound fishing, and Andy, the owner of ACC Crappie Sticks, the owner of these guys. So the next four videos are probably going to be that. And then in February here, actually three weeks, two weeks, two weeks maybe, I don't know. This guy is going to be on Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri. I got two separate trips planned for February, so those, visual, those videos will be coming out, well, in February sometime. So yeah, I, did, I just needed to break up the ice fishing season. Last year we had ice fishing all the way through April. It was just way too long. This year I planned some trips to break it up. So this guy, this guy right here, Lake of the Ozarks, three weeks. We'll see ya, but enjoy the video. Live bait versus artificial. I don't remember how many crappie I caught. But, uh, Appreciate you watching as always. Enjoy the video. Live bait versus artificial bait challenge. Huge school of fish coming in from my left. It's a big school of crappie right there. Bottom jig is a marble jig, top is the live minnow. See which one is actually going to get hit. That's a big mark down there too. I'm not moving very fast, but hopefully these fish up here in that 25 to 30 foot range are the active ones. That's usually the case, although last time I was out here it wasn't. It was the ones in the 30 to 35 feet range. That's a cool thing on a on a regular 2D sonar or even a flasher unit, I probably wouldn't have been able to see those that school of fish because they came in from 15 to 20 feet to my left. Oh, here we go. Somebody's got to hit something here. There he is. Oh, he hit a negative bite on it. Didn't even feel him. I can turn the drag up a little bit. Feels decent. What are you? Well, uh, live minnow struck again. I, I switched it up to that spoon again. I just wanted to see if something would bite on that live minnow uh, versus that marabou jig and switched it up to a spoon. Got him. It's about a, eh, it's about a 10 inch fish, 10 and a half. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep this guy and then hopefully get some more on the ice with this live minnow action. Going back with the marabou jig on the bottom. Well, I think it's a little dark marabou jig and then the minnow on the top. There's some fish down there. Looks like I just caught just caught that guy. It's about an eleven just shy of eleven. Looks like there are some fish down there. School moved back in and it looks like they're hungry, ready to feed. Oh, and I missed him. Wow, did I miss him. That was terrible. He's still up in the water column. See if he comes back. I think I missed him. No! Oh, there he is. Got him. He's like... Feels like a decent fish too. Oh, 
Oh, got him on the marabou. Got him on the marabou jig. Really soft bites. Holy smokes, are they soft bites. Pure negative hits where they come up from underneath the jig and grab it and they just keep rising with it. Or they'll just sit there and hold it and I can't even see the line move. There's two on the ice. There's more down there. Let's see if we can get some more. One to one on this setup. But this is a one to one so far. One marabou jig, one minnow on this double jig. Live bait versus artificial bait setup. Ooh, there's a bunch of them down there too. Oh, they look aggressive. That'd be awesome if I can just get a dozen of them in like five minutes here. They don't want to come above that 30 foot mark though. They really don't. Oh, God, he hit it on the fall. Oh no, he let it go. No. He hit that Maribu jig on the fall. That's the second one. Hope someone's coming up and hit it. It's going to the middle, I think. Yep. Oh my goodness, how did I miss him? Did he go, I think he hit the minnow on that one. I don't know what he hit. There's a bunch of them, come on. Got him, got him. Feels decent. Feels like a decent fish. What are you? Yes! Wow, they're liking that marabou. They're hitting it right on the drop. These are all 10, 10 and a half, 11 inch fish. That's two for the marabou. Let's see if we can get at least a dozen of these before we call it a night. And they're really liking that 34 feet. And I'm keeping them, so it's not that big a deal, I guess. But if I was letting them go, I don't know if I'd be targeting these fish. There's a ton of them down there. Holy smokes. Oh, I think he hit the minnow on that. I think he just took my minnow. Feels like it. Yep. The minnow bites are hard to tell because this marabou jig is weighing it down. So it's not, when they come up and hit it on a negative bite where they actually bite from underneath and keep rising with it, the line actually stays straight because the, the weight of that 1 16th just keeps it straight, which kind of sucks. So it's really hard to hit the it's really hard to set the hook on those minnows when you got this kind of double jig set up going. I think next time I do this, I'll switch it around and have the minnows on the bottom. Have some sort of plastic or a marble jig or hair jig up top. No way did that just happen. So, you guys saw those three. I was just messing around through this little lipless crankbait. I've done a couple videos. That is an absolute tank. That is a 14-inch crappie, easy. Easily a 14-inch fish. Wow! Messing around with just a lipless crankbait. Ouch. Trying to mix up this that live bait versus artificial. Caught an absolute tank on this little fire tiger lipless crankbait. I'm gonna guess easy 14 inches. Easily 14 inches. I'm gonna put them on a scale for you guys right now. I didn't know these were in this lake. Absolute monster. A bunch of these over here, those guys. Yeah, those are about 11 inch fish. I'm gonna put this right next to it. Look at that. So these guys are all about 10 and a half, 11 inch fish. That's a 14, easy. I'm gonna put it on a scale right now. All right, exaggerated a little bit. It's 13 and a half, but still absolute stud.
I wish I would have got that sequence on camera. I was just messing around off camera and should be rolling at all times. Sorry about that. Looks like there's some more fish down there, but this guy, he just came up from the bottom and I just kept raising it up the water column and he just hammered it. Just made him chase it all the way up to about 20 foot mark. Thought for sure that was a 14, 13 and a half, oh well. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this live bait versus artificial challenge. 13 and a half inch fish. I think I'm zoomed in a little bit there. There we go. 13 and a half. Topped it off today. Uh, I know I probably missed a lot more than I caught. Um, that negative bite, especially if you have a double jig set up, it's really tricky with, with two jigs, especially if they're hitting the top jig and that top jig is lighter. They come up from underneath and keep rising with it. That bottom jig provides just enough weight that it's really hard to see the line, so oh well. But uh, hope you enjoyed the video as always. Appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and share the video. And if you're not a subscriber, bottom right hand corner of the screen there's a red subscribe button click that bell that bell notifies you every time i post a video uh, let me know in the comment section you got any more challenge videos for ice fishing season let me know in the comment section down there all right we'll see ya